I only have a DDS and I want to make it a one build GP using only the wilderness. To make this even harder, I have only seven days to do this challenge. With only having seven days, the start has to be extremely quick and DDSing someone out for their bones at ult is by far the best option. Bro's doing a clue, but he's wearing actual armor, so I don't think I can actually hit for it. Yeah, that's the biggest waste of specs ever. He's probably got food as well. Oh, he's using the altar as well. This is the type of person I want. Bro, it took me way too long to kill him. I literally used my specs on that clue scroll hunter and I think uh, I think he's used all his bones. Let me see how much. Yep, yeah, literally fucking one bone. Bro, I didn't look out quick enough. I'm so fucking dead. Unless I can pull off a madness with this door. Come on. Go. Oh, he's messed up. I think I've got a gap. I think I've got a gap. There's no way I actually survived that by closing the door on him. Oh, hello. Okay. Wait. He's instantly doing the dash. He wants to survive. Come on, 29 HP. I'm hoping he doesn't have a 30 teleport, but I could do 22 HP before he gets there, surely. Oh, he's actually made it on 9 HP. Please don't have a fucking 30 teleport. He's not teleporting. He is not teleporting. And he's dead. Let's go. Oh my god. What the fuck? No wonder he fucking jogs for the hills instantly. 142k might not be much for him, but that's a lot for me right now. Oh, look at that. 62 D-Bones, and he did have a ring of dueling, which is why he didn't teleport. I'm not proud to say, but this literally took 40 minutes to do, and I've got there in the end anyway. 139k, that is for sure enough for the plans I've got right now. With needing to propel myself forward as fast as possible, Revs is the perfect option. It's very good, consistent money. And that's what we need right now, is consistent money. Literally the first kill I get my looting back, I was actually thinking about buying this, and I don't know why. Every time you stop doing Revs, you forget how good money it is. Two room plate bodies, seven 77k. I've run out of arrows, so that's my first trip over and I made 576k. That's really good. I'm pretty sure this is enough for an avarice. I really hope it is. I've got 586k and an avarice is 592. I need 6k. It pays me to do this, but the DDS has got to go. There we go. The avarice is bought. This is an insane upgrade for revs. I quietly tried to sell all my food so I could afford arrows. I hope I do not get attacked. I'm just dead if I do. It was a massive risk bringing no food, but now I've got a full of already. We ran out of arrows again and made 653k. This was so much better with Avarice, it's crazy. Oh my god, my reaction time was absolutely terrible. Look at the guy's name as well, it's called TV Squash, that's quite ironic. That's a massively successful trip, 1.6 mil. I think I need one more and I can be able to PK. Oh, he's back. He didn't splash this time though. I do have bruise now, so I don't think it's too bad of a tank and I feel like I'm getting like every prayer right against him as well. Oh, he messed up. He... Tried to attack me as I jumped over, which means he slingshotted away. That's really good. We've run out of arrows, so I think that's going to be the final kill. An absolutely banging final trip. 1.9 mil. We for sure have enough money to PK with. I've sold near enough everything. I've got 4.8 mil. That is by far enough for a good set. I've actually got a quite nice set, but this is when shit gets serious. I need to get an armored god sword as quick as possible. RTO has had some changes, and I think the boss will help me with a lot of kills. So I'm going to try and PK here first. No fucking way, I got the guys a Curse Scepter, that's 3.8 mil. I've actually found a PK and he's got a Glory and a Normal Cape, I think this is killable. That's a big surge, I'm going for it. Please die, 50. On robes as well. Oh my god, the DDS is fucking useless. I'm so low on food, but he's full TB'd, I think I can still kill this. I can easily die if he re-TB's me there. I caught the freeze, he's out of food. He's out of food and he's still TB'd. His TB's nearly up though. Come on. No, no way. This DDS is terrible. Imagine I had an AGS. It'd be so much easier. My surge is the best. No, no. Oh my fucking God. 22 HP. I got so unlucky there. I really, really need this AGS. I need it so badly. Ooh, that looks like a big PVM. He's got the fucking arcane and everything. I need this freeze. The boss is helping so much. I actually caught the last ditch freeze. He would have escaped otherwise. Hey, there we go. He's dead. Oh my god. Nearly 3 mil. He had so many runes. That means I've PK'd over 40 mil and I can for sure afford that AGS now. My bank's looking like a mess, but it's time to sell the loot. 
Ooh, 11 mil. I'm not actually sure if I can afford this. Yes, I can afford the AGS. I was losing my mind using the DDS. Okay, that makes sense. I still had 1.4 mil cash in the bank. I was like, how am I so poor? All untradables other than the Avernity Defender I'll be using after spending a parchment on them. So now I've got an imbued magic cape. I will only use the Avernity Defender once I've got the 90 mil that it's worth. Honestly, not a great first day, but tomorrow has to be a big day and I think I've got the tools to do so now. That was probably not worth fighting, I won't lie, I'd probably use more money in fucking supplies than the actual kill. Either way, 2 mil, I'll take it. This is pretty much a match gear fight, I can win this for sure. He's camping robes. Please, please die, he's dead. No! Oh, oh that kill would be fucking mental. I think he's trying to escape. I think he's trying to escape, I think he's out. What a perfect seed, I predicted that so well. His TB is going to be up soon. Yes! Oh my fucking god, that is an amazing kill to get. 13.8 mil! Holy fucking shit, look at that! That is the type of fight I wanted and it was a struggle. We sold it all but the Light Baron Fury for 9.6 mil. I don't think that's enough for a Toxic Staff. A Toxic Staff is 13.7 mil. I might go for a newbie looking setup. I'm going to Parchment, the Avers, and the Rune Pouch, which means I save one inventory spot with this pouch. It's honestly a really good setup, but I look a lot less powerful than I actually am. There's no way a Zerka wants to fight me. My gear looks that newbie. He's got to be out of food. I've done 600 damage. He's got to be dead, please. No. Oh, he's dead to the bolt. There we go. That was actually harder than I expected. That's a really nice one. 8.5 mil kill. I am saving for that toxic staff, so I'm not going to sell it just yet. Normally when I'm fighting someone from first impressions, I can see if they're killable or not, and I feel like this guy is killable. Look at that cheeky two-way full TB. I like it. He's got to be low, but Voidus have a lot of food because of the switches. He's trying to catch me with his fucking crossbow on. Come on, no way he catches. Yeah, there we go. 600 damage done, by the way. Oh, he tried to Void Awaken me. What the fuck? Wait, that means he risks his suffering that he's got. Because he 100% has a suffering. He's got loads of recoils. Yes, he's 100% dead. I've got a fresh freeze to do 12 damage. There we go. I think that's a big one. I'm 100% sure he has a suffering. Oh, look at that suffering. 22.1 mil. Day 2 is going insanely well. And we've got 29 mil from selling the recent loot. That is a lot. I'm taking a leap and I'm going to invest in Void, which is 6 parchments. This is a really good high damage setup that I got right now. And I could only just afford it. It was going so well. I got so many PKs within 1 hour of just logging in. And now it's been 2 hours and not really found any PKs. A 103. He must be a tank, surely. Or oh, only a 5. With him only having mage and range, he's got so much food in that inventory, so I need to make sure I don't overstay. Oh, I think he's trying to log out, but I can hit that. Client vibes. Wait, he thinks I'm cheating. He didn't realise that I could actually still hit him. What's he doing? And I hit a 60. I can kill this. You might be dead there. He actually died. I actually killed him after he called me a cheater. That's got to be a really nice kill. He had like anguish and shit. 33.8 mil suffering and anguish. That's actually such a nice kill. Let me show you real quick why it was such a big kill for me. Look at these supplies. I literally have two brews left. I was on the bare bones of my bank. Next upgrade I'm going for is the ancient godsword. So I need around 25 mil for it. But that's a big one. Oh. Oh my fucking god. Brimage. Oh. I would have died if I did not pray mage. I literally got 4 HP. That was so fucking lucky. Yes, finally. I actually got a fucking kill. Oh my god. It's been like 4 hours since my previous kill. Holy shit. I've been getting so unlucky. If you guys didn't know, only 22.3% of people that watch my videos are currently subscribed. So if you are enjoying this video, then please subscribe. 51.2 mil. I've got that ancient god sword. I am so hyped to PK with the ancient god sword. Why is the ancient god sword so expensive? But that doesn't matter. I've got it now anyway. What the fuck is that? He's fold as well. He's got an ancient god sword as well. That means he risked the web weaver. This is a big kill, by the way. He has such terrible defense as well. Like he's literally got no tank shield. He's dead there. And he caught the last freeze. He actually caught the freeze to escape, but he died. The Ancient God Sword for sure was the reason why I got that kill. It is so good when you try to outlast people. 54.3 mil. He was PVMing whilst PKing. I've got 49 mil cash, and I think I'm going to buy an armed oak crossbow, which I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Sometimes weapons that make you look scarier get you less fights, which means you get less kills in total. That's a big ball. A 44. He's in robes still. 
Oh my god, a 44 into a 49 bolt. My range damage is absolutely mental in this game. He did have the staff risk as well, 19 mil. It's very late and we're currently up to 204 mil PK'd, which means I PK'd 190 mil in just the second day. It goes without saying this was an insanely successful second day, but it's time to sleep. Oh, we hit the Ancient God Sword. That's literally the perfect heal as well. Oh my god. A 57 bolt. My bolts pop off. I mean, he is in really low defense with Void. This is brutal. He's also Venom. Look at that. A 38 bolt. He's just playing Mage. Oh, into a 60 bolt KO. Holy fucking shit. Oh, that's what I need. We're both currently full TB, so this is going to be a very big outlast fight, I think. I really, really need this Ancient God Sword to hit. That is perfect. Even if it's a 9, I still get the heal and do the 25 damage. It's actually perfect right now because I have no risk of dying and I actually TB'd him like 30 seconds after I actually got TB'd so I can teleport well he can't. I've done 100 more damage than him, he's got to be out. Yes, that was really well played, I fucking love that kill, let's go. 55 mil, that is a big one, we are getting very close to affording that Void Waker. I think this is a Claw Oh my Jesus Christ, come on stack. Oh my god, that's so much damage. Only a 17, though. He smited. He smited. If I hit higher, come on. He might have got prayer back on. I'm not sure because the god sword takes lo so long. Yeah, I didn't really expect the claws. And the reason is because the god sword is so slow. Six ticks is a long time to react. The 25 damage. Oh, he actually prayed mage there. Fair enough. Ooh, 51. I was brewed down, by the way. A cheeky 11 mil. I am so close to that Void Waker. It's such a clear bait, but I kind of want to fight the max kill that logs in. Oh, there he is. This is a very dumb fight to take, seeing as I've got one and a bit of restores, but I just want to fight a max PK. I don't even care. Seeing as he's in max gear and he's on barrage, I did quite well, but I think it's time to leave. I literally have one dose of restore. Hopefully he does fight again, though. Oh, my God. Bro, I thought he was frozen. I thought he was frozen still. I must have had one tick off. That is actually incredibly bad. That's all it takes nowadays is like one or two mistakes and you're just dead. That death was 90 mil and thankfully I've got a lot of stuff in the bank that I can rebuild from. But the problem is, is now I've got a PK in total over 1.1 bill. I bought the exact same setback and I've still got some cash to spare. I think I could have actually afforded the Void Awake if I just sold some more stuff. 750 damage. What is this guy's invent? Okay, he's finally dead. I had to do over 800 damage for that one. 12 mil, it does add up in the end. Won't well, lie, this fight has been incredibly unlucky. I don't actually know what's going on. Am I just going to carry on splashing? I might die. I literally splashed six times in a row. Okay, seven times in a row. If, even if I caught it, it wouldn't matter there, to be fair. Eight splashes. Don't do this to me again. Nine splashes. Oh, no. Please, not again. Ten splashes. Oh, bro, that is brutal. Wait, my TB was up. Oh my fucking god, I could have teleported. What is wrong with me today? Them two deaths was incredibly bad. I've made this challenge so much harder for myself. I can only just afford this sell, but it was going so well. I lost 180 mil in two deaths there. To do this challenge, I was banking on literally not dying at all. So this is really very good right now. The only positive I can see is that I did so well so early. It's only day three. I have so much time. No way. He's dead. Oh my god, I would have been fuming if he died. I am quite tilted right now, I'm not going to lie. My current goal is a Void Waker, so I need some big kills, but I'm going to have a break for a little bit. That break has made me a lot more hype to do this. I was so tilted after them two deaths. He's got full crystal with D-boots. Honestly, I'm going to nerd the fuck out of this fight. He's been trying to escape since we started fighting, and I'm just not allowing it. I'm playing max distance. He thinks he's got that escape. He doesn't. I can just see it. He's been running around all over the place. He doesn't know where to stand or what to do, which is really good. Yes, I think I could have killed him with that anyway, but I hit the 25 damage. No, he caught. Please. Oh my god, that is the most clutch freeze I have ever got. He's got to be out of food. That's a big ball. He's dead as well. Holy shit, I hard nerded that kill. I tried so fucking hard on that one. This is the redemption. Give me that 70 mil. I'm a man on a mission right now. I can bring this fight back. That's a 35. Another big ass bolt. Come on. Dead. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to whack him. Maybe he plays range. Okay, I tried to do the obvious thing and it didn't work. He is really, really far behind on his eats and I don't think he has combo food. Oh, 
He tried to risk it to HS me. <laughs> Let's go. That is going to be a nice kill, by the way. Look at that. 53 mil. I can for sure afford that Avoid Waker right now. And that's going to be a very big difference. 126 mil. I think if I sell the Ancient Godsword, I've got enough. Yeah, that is by far enough. I think I can afford a good setup with a Void Waker as well. I managed to pull together a really good Fang Void Waker setup. My next upgrade I'm going for is an Avernic that I'll need 90 mil cash to use. Normally the next upgrade I'll go for is a Boa Ferridin with Crystal, but I feel like it's way too overpowered for this challenge. However, the way it's looking, I might need to sneak it in in the end anyway. Oh, 67. I'm just going to double it. He actually prayed a page fair play to him. He should have died there though. Oh, and he's dead. Smited. I think he's got an AGS. I mean, that's still quite a nice smite, an AGS. 22 mil. I just poked him on 65. I might just Void Waker. What? What's he doing? Oh, now he eats. I'm just going to double it. Bro, what the fuck was that kill? 39 mil. One more big kill, and I should be able to use the Avernic Defender, which I can't wait to use. Yes, I caught him with the anti. That was really nice. 53 mil. Let's go sell the loot. Sell all the loot. We got 114 mil. So the way this is going to work, I'm going to put 90 mil in plat tokens, which means I can use the Avert Defender now. This means I can only use the Avert Defender when I've got 90 mil in plat tokens in the bank. I think this is a fair way to do it. I'm honestly a really big fan of this setup. It's so balanced in all styles. I'm going to fake you the fang. Yes, the fang. I'm using it so often that he prayed melee because of it. I've done so much damage, by the way. How's it not died there? I got a fang spec. I might just use it. Dead. Yes, honestly, the Fang with a Vernet Defender is so nice. I hit it so often. It's a really good way to end out the fourth day, but I couldn't actually play that much today. As it stands, I need to PK over 600 mil in three days, so this is going to be a very tough one. I'm currently giving away 134 mil in the Discord down below, so go check that one out. He's got to be getting low. I've done 500 damage. I'm going to Void Waker. Oh, he restores a try and escape. He must have been low on food anyway. 52 mil. That is the second fight of the day as well. That's a really nice start. For me, when I'm doing challenges like getting to one build in seven days, the hardest part is actually finding the kills. And that's why I actually use one or two scouts when I'm PKing. I've scoured a PVM and between kills, he actually turns off his prayer so I can actually get that full TB if I time it correctly. Yes, we got the full TB. That was really well timed. He has some really nice defense. He has a Void Waker as well. He's risking the Crowbow. That was free prayer, by the way. Oh, he's pretty million. Yes, perfect. 55 mil from an anti BK. That is a fucking big kill. I am currently selling all the recent loot, and I'm not actually sure what to get as an upgrade, to be honest. 148 mil, and he's what I think. I actually have a spicy idea, and I'm going to buy a Missouri top. Not many people PK in this type of game with Missouri top, but the idea is that I'm going to make people think it's my plus one, so they won't think I've got a Void Waker and I can just spec them out. He's having to camp pray melee because of the... Oh, he's dead. He's not dead. I was, what I was about to say, he's having to camp pray melee because of the fang. I'm fanging him so much and I'm taking so much damage. Look at that. There we go. Honestly, this setup is crazy. It's so fucking balanced and powerful. It's also that type of setup that you want to fight. It's not like I'm in complete max gear. It's like actual reasonable gear. 41 mil. I thought I might get a bit more from him to be fair, but that's still good. Oh, he caught me in complete max mage defense, which is fair enough. That is 40 HP escape again, the second time in a row. That's the thing. You can't just keep escaping me on such low food. I'm going to eventually get the RNG where he's going to splash. Oh my fucking god, if he escapes on low HP again, I'm in fuming. Thank fuck I actually killed him. 53.7 mil. We're actually cooking today. I'm feeling very confident I can do this challenge now. I might just keep fanging him because he does love the prey range. And my fang does so much damage when you think about it, even for a DFS. Oh, what? Oh, what? Okay, he just died to that. I thought it would pray million, I'll Void Waker him, but he, he risked it for the AGS. That was not a smart idea. This is the type of day I needed. I'm getting so many nice kills right now. Oh, wait, I'm pretty sure I just killed this guy like half an hour ago. Yeah, I did. Hey, there we go with a full TB. That's what I wanted. I'm pretty sure he's out of food. I need to try and hit with this Void Waker though. I just got a spec back. Come on, please. Dead. No, 49. He actually caught freeze. I think he's dead. Oh my god, that was a clutch ass bolt. That was also quite lucky, even though it was a roast, to be fair. 
Nearly 50 mil. I would sell this loot, but my overarching goal right now is quite expensive. It's a Zorite crossbow. It's like 420 mil. Okay, I can't actually log in because we've been hopping that much at Darby, so I think that's a good time to call it a day. We are currently at a 700 mil bank, so we need 300 mil more to complete this challenge in only two days. Holy shit, look at that guy's gear. Oh, if I kill this, then I think the challenge is quite literally over. Wait, he wants to leave. Is he bad? I don't want to waste my specs. I feel like I'm just never going to fight this guy again. That's a big ball. I'm actually just going to send it. Fuck it. He's dead. Oh my fucking god. I needed a 55. <laughs> no way. No fucking way. East aspects. Oh my fucking god. How are you not in the ground? I'm pretty sure he's gone of a splash. Yeah, he's gone. I is so hard to look at. I get so unlucky in these type of challenges, but when you have a big kill like this that can literally end the challenge, it hurts a little bit more. Or oh, 62 on 67 or whatever that is. Oh, that's why he down geared and he's not really fighting. He thinks I'm cheating. That happens way too fucking much. Or maybe. Die. No. He's dead. Please, Bolts. Oh, he's about to get him frozen and teleport with the Zami Mage as well. Let's go. Not gonna lie, I thought I'd get more from him. 25 mil. What the fuck? Maybe that's why there's no PVM as a PK. Hello. Bro, what's he doing? Is he a Power Ranger or something? Like, what the fuck is that gear? I'll be honest, this looks very killable. And he's in a non plus one build, which means he risked the bow and whatever spec weapon he's got. Oh my god, please. No! No way! That was off prayer, by the way. That was off prayer. He has not put tank on since the start of the fight. What the fuck is going on? Oh no, he caught. 63. Oh no, he's out of food. He's out of food, 19 HP. Bro, this guy should be in my fucking pocket. What has gone on today? I'm getting so unlucky. He's risking a fang and some other nice gear. It's actually a really big kill, even though Buckler is quite expensive. He's very scared of my fang, I'm not going to lie. Oh, that's a big bolt. I'm going to fake him, Millie. Dead. No way. I'm just going to double. I don't care. Oh, he's dead. That is a big one, by the way. That is surely a big kill. Finally got the RNG. Let's go. Look at that. 81.7 mil. I've been getting incredibly unlucky today, so that's so nice to get. I'm pretty sure I should be able to afford that Azarite crossbow, which is an insane upgrade. So I'm to loot that of PK, and I've got 264 mil. Can I afford it with the Missouri and the Imbued Heart? Oh, fucking definitely I can. Give me that Azarite crossbow. That is the biggest upgrade I am going to get. Look at that. This is why I like PK and I 115. You get to attack so many different levels. Look at me right now. I'm hitting a pure. He only has 400 damage worth of food. That's actually very surprising, and he's dead on the floor. Oh, he actually fucking risked something, to be fair. 21.3 mil is quite a lot for a pure. I've only just realised it's the same guy that killed me for 90 mil earlier that was with that team in Max Gear. I really want to kill this now. I need that revenge. 60 Void Waker. He's going to play Mage. Yep. Is he dead? He can't eat when he goes up. Oh, he is dead. <laughs> Let's go. Revenge is sweet. 45 mil, which is quite literally half of what he killed me for, but fuck it, he's dead anyway. This kill does take us over one build total that I've PK'd, so if I didn't die twice, this challenge will be over right now. I'm not sure if this is a good idea because less people are going to fight me, but I'm trying to buy a Missouri top, and I don't actually have enough right now, for fuck's sake. Oh, we did actually buy for that offer, but now I have 13k GP to my name. I of course still have the 90 mil for the Avernic in the bank, and we're around 170 mil away from the one bill mark, I think. It's a very weird fight. I think he's got DH, so he's camping low HP. I might just spec it, like, see what happens. Oh, okay. <laughs> It was that easy, apparently. Yeah, it's about what I expected. 20 mil. Oh my god. I completely forgot he might have a light bearer. Oh my fucking god. That is... Oh, bro. I've literally fell on the last hurdle. There's no fucking way that just happened. Oh, bro, that death has absolutely crippled me. I've got a Zalric crossbow and 190 mil in the bank. I can still do it technically, but I need to get incredibly lucky now. You know what? There's only one way I can complete this challenge, and that is to get the Boa Ferradin out. I am getting this crystal set, and I'm going to destroy some motherfuckers. I'm nearly at the end of the sixth day, and if anything's going to get me to that goal, it's going to be this setup. It is so strong. 
Yeah, I realise I'm not fanging enough, so I'm selling the fang for an ancient god sword. Yes, I've scouted this guy on my scout and he's actually fighting. He's got crystal as well. So if I kill this, then that's actually a big boost. He's 40 bead. Oh my god. Oh, now we're good. He ri oh, he risked the uh, Void Waker. Well, not the Void Waker, the actual bow, but it's still a lot of money. This is easily killable. He's not eating and I if I just hit a big bow, he's dead. Oh my fucking god. He pot blocked himself. That is absolutely a massive kill, by the way. That is a massive kill. The rebuild is fucking on. Why did I tell you guys about this setup? Because of the speed, it is so easy to get kills. 192 mil. I'm just going to forget about the fact if I got this kill before I died, I would have completed the challenge. But either way, the rebuild is fucking on. Selling all the loot and we get 196 mil. All I'm going to buy is a saturated heart for the pre pot and it's actually so good for that. I could buy something like Versus, but I realised when I was in bigger gear like Missouri and the Zorak Crossbow, I got a lot less fights. Okay, the plan with this ancient god sword isn't to try and KO him. It's actually to try and make him think that I'm trying to go for the Outlast and then go for the KO with the Void Waker. As you can see right now, he's just camping pretty early, even though he just froze me, which is kind of weird. One more decent hit and I'm going for it. Um, uh, should I have gone for it there? Oh, he's dead. Surely. He's dead. Yes, that's what I was lining up. That is what I was lining up with the Ancient God Sword and everything. It was fucking perfect. 72 mil. This rebuild is crazy. That was literally 15 minutes after that 200 mil kill. I wanted to go to bed a while ago, but I couldn't because of that death. And we've actually made so much money because of it. Let's go. Tomorrow is obviously the last day and I need to make 230 mil to complete the challenge. And the way I'm going right now with the bow for self, I think I can actually do it. Bro, why does he not care about me hitting him? He's just hitting the boss. Like, okay, I'll kill you then. Okay, I won't kill you. Fucking one HP. Oh, the boss literally killed him for me. <laughs> He deserved that for not trying to run away and getting cocky. Oh, 23 mil. I'm not getting too hyped just yet. That's not a very big kill. Bro, it's kind of annoying. I keep getting caught a fucking AHK. There is actually quite a lot of AHKs, but when you get bundled into them, people don't actually fight you. And I need people to fight right now. This guy's name is Frogfisher21, and when someone has a name like that, you can tell that they're a good PK. Is 40 lead, and with the combo I've got, it doesn't really matter too much how good you are as long as I actually hit numbers. At 17, if I hit some nice damage with this bow, you might be dead. Oh my god, that combo was nice. Holy fucking shit. That's why I like the Ancient God Sword with the Bofa and the Karasi as well. Let's fucking go. Oh, we had a cheeky suffering with him as well. 39 mil. He really wants to escape. I might just Void Waker. Yes, he was looking for the escape, he wasn't paying attention to his HP bar. I mean, 10 mil might be the difference between me completing this challenge and not, so I'm happy with that one. Am I seeing things, or has his Serp run out of charge? I might go for the Outlast then, if that's that case. I've done 400 damage, oh, 46 is really big, but the reason why I'm not too excited... Oh, I could have killed him there, actually, what the fuck? Is that he's a 125, so we could just run south if he really wants to. He's looking for the escape on that statue, which is really, really good for me. Wait, he's running east. What's he doing? What is he doing? I think he's out of food. That's why. I think he's panicking. Come on, this kill's literally in the bag. I'm not going to eat. If I eat, he might actually catch a freeze. Yes, that was actually perfect. I am so happy with how I played that one. 52 mil. That is a big kill. It's the type of kills I need right now. I've calculated how much I need. I need 100 mil. I am so confident I can complete this challenge for sure. I get he's a tank and he's only got range and mage, but he's actually so annoying when he's just running away. Like, for fuck's sake. Ooh. Okay, he's going to see. I've got him. He's dead. No. Oh, my God. Wait, what? Where's my fucking 25 gone? I've just been robbed. Where's my 25? I seeded him at 25 vanish. What the fuck's that about? Andy actually kind of outplayed me with that seed, to be fair. Wait, look at his HP. He's 30 HP trying to catch the freeze. If I stand behind a rock. <laughs> oh my god, I am so fucking happy. I am so happy that fucking guy died. Holy shit. Oh my god. Look at that, 62 mil now, that's a satisfying kill, let's fucking go. Oh, cheeky 40, that will implant the fucking ancient god sword into this guy's brain, he is not going to be- Bro, again? I fucking lost my 25 again, bro, for fuck's sake. Wait, he's dead. Hey, there we go, the perfect setup, I love the ancient god sword. 14.6 mil, I think I need one more decent kill and I've completed the whole challenge. 
Oh, I probably should have gone for a Void Waker, but I can just still go for it anyway. Oh, it should be so dead. It's crazy. Okay, he's dead. Never mind. This could actually be enough to complete the challenge, but I don't want to end up selling everything and have less than one bill. That would be very awkward. I haven't had a kill in like an hour and a half and I've got like two hours left of the challenge. I'm actually kind of getting worried, but I still might have completed it anyway. Oh, splashed. If I catch him again, if I catch him in the boss, he's dead. No, bro. That's kind of unlucky. I'll go for an early one. Why not? A 33 prayer. That's not bad. Oh, he's dead. The Void Waker. He is so dead. Bro, what am I doing? Come on. Oh my god, that staff bash. Oh, I thought I fumbled the kill, but he's on the floor anyway. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how people die as long as they're dead. That is for sure enough. I have completed the challenge. Let's go sell everything. Look at that bank value. 1.05 bill. It's so nice selling this loot knowing that I've completed this challenge. I didn't exactly make it easy for myself though, did I? I've sold the last big ticket items and there we go. The challenge has been completed. I actually PK'd over 1.5 bill, which goes to show how detrimental them deaths was. This was extremely fun, but very hard. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.